Don't know what they are, what they want, or where they came from. Only one thing is certain. If Shepard doesn't bring help soon, there won't be an Earth left to save. Ladies and gentlemen, at long last, after such a long time since Civilization Effect 2, it's here. They're here. We must gather all our guns, our allies, our equipment, and prepare ourselves. They have arrived. Welcome to Civilization Effect 3. The conclusion to, well, one of my personal favorite series that I've ever done. So much fun, and apparently quite a few people actually enjoyed them as well. Now I have quite a lot of things to explain before, before this begins. First off, as I've tweeted about it multiple times and talked about it in comments, I am now in possession of a new microphone. It's a cheap one. I don't think in terms of voice quality it's a huge improvement over my old one. But it's much but it reaches further, it's slightly larger, and it's much more comfortable to use because I don't have to bend over so much to reach it. That's the main reason I got it. I just wanted a cheap one that's more comfortable. The glorious city of Earth has been founded. Now, as you can see here, we've started in the, started in the modern era. Main reason for that is because I don't want to start in the bleeding ancient era because that'd be well. Just would have to go through all the eras before getting to any actual combat, and well, we're actually in the atomic era. With the new with the new mic, I sincerely apologise if you know it starts distort with any sudden blasts of audio, because you know I'm having to I've tried to tweak the microphone settings to. Uh, uh, sorry, I've tried to tweak the microphone settings so it doesn't distort as much through sudden bursts of audio because. Ooh, what to research? I'm gonna go with. I see, there's a reason why this is all red, and I'll explain later. This. Here's a more militaristic tactics. I'm gonna go with atomic penicillin gives me N sevens, but nah, atomic theory. So I've tried to tweak the microphone settings so because I have a tendency to emphasize my some some sounds and words such as P's, you probably heard it then, but it just suddenly distorts. Oh yes, I've got all this. So we're in the atomic era. And the mods I'm using, the Brave New World Mass Effect mods of course, I apologize for taking so long to set up but I've got a lot to explain. Faster aircraft animations because you all know that air without quick combat on, which makes combat a little bit, no, eh, just dull in my opinion. Now, planes take forever to get around. So, an aircraft should now move around ten times as quickly. We're going to be purely militaristic, so I suppose... Yeah. Autocracy, of course. All the militaristic ones, so... I'm also using the advanced options mod, which gives you know more options. 
Is this a good starting location? It will clash a bit with Earth in terms of borders. Plus, there's not a lot of food around. Hello. Ooh. Uh, where is it? A heavy faith. We so I've turned off happiness. So no gold maze. We don't have to worry about unhappiness penalties from city conquering and all of that. Religion off. I know no more. I should go, but I don't want to worry. Have to worry about the religion game. Now we're going to be purely militaristic. So I think I could go into honor and then focus on autocracy. The one when training melee units and going because I want that one. Fifty more experience from combat. But these are all melee units, and most of our um, most of our army is probably going to be composed of ranged ships. I have run some tests to games to ensure this all goes smoothly. And I did go down to military edition in honor then. But you know, what? let's go straight for autocracy this time. Elite forces, mobilization. Like that. When an espionage is off as well. No more city. No cities. I'll explain that later. Damn it! There's so much to talk about. There's no point in this, in any of these. There's fortified borders and then... Oh, total war, we want that as well. Those are two great ones. So, well, you, you might see that we have the Turians as our ally. Hello, Garrus. In ME3, the races all, or most of them, united against the... Against the Reapers, so I'm showing. I don't want to include every single race because that just be unbalanced. But I did want one ally because the race is all united, and because the Reapers are deliberately, yeah, they've gone autocracy. The Reapers are everyone's oh order because the Reapers are deliberately overpowered for normal games. So, and the Reapers, well, they're not technically alone. There is another civilization out there, as you can see. Not a friend of the Reapers. Let's go out and explore. Now, what else? One of the options I turned on was always war. Anybody who's not on your team, whether they be another civilization, a city-state, you'll instantly declare war on them, and you can't make peace with them. Damn it, there's two resources. One, two, three. There will be a bit of clashing. How about we just set it up on the deer? Ugh, that's a lot. We're definitely on the southern end of the map. You just go, go, go out and explore. These resources, there's no real point in working them because we don't get happiness, but we do get productions from we do get production from the mines. So anybody who's not on your team, city state, other civilization, war is instantly declared between the two of you and you can't make peace. The reason I did that because although in civilization effect two I did, you know, find the collectors had was at peace with them at first, but then declared war on them instantly and did and refused to make peace. There's one thing I I have played team games before with the AI, and the AI had this annoying tendency to always make peace with the enemy when I didn't want them to. Just go on the damn deer. So 
So I don't want Garrus making peace with the Reapers. And we're and another one is Ooh, perfection. Another thing is uh in terms of technology I downloaded another mod which was which blocks progress past the atomic era. The reason I don't want to go into the information era, even though it's much more, you know, matches well with the futuristic series, is because in one test run I made, they spammed stealth bombers like it was nobody's business. I mean, the Reapers had three cities, each of them fully stacked up with stealth bombers. You couldn't stop them. I know it does match the endless bombardment of the Reapers, but it does get annoying from a gameplay perspective. So I'm not going to build any scientific buildings. I am going to build um, gold producing buildings though because there was, there's no, where's this brave new world and there's no one to trade with. So I want to set up a city here. I don't really, we, well we do have seven oil there and three, we'll reach those easily. That earth will probably reach that oil as well. We've got plenty of oil for battleships. You guys get over there. I just want it by a river. Don't knock it. Do we get. No, we just get gold from the plantations, don't we? Just screw it. Plenty of hills around here, so we'll have. Oh! We found them! Where are they? Oh, the. Yeah. Cerberus is here as well. Where are they? Ha 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 ha! Destroy them! Yeah! Yes! I'm trying to refrain from talking too loud because I know this mic is rather sensitive. There's that. So, you. I want it to be by So we now have deer. I th does that, you know, just give us. Yeah, extra food. We don't get the gold from the camp, I think, but. Oh! So we now have Luna and Mars orbiting around Earth. Perfect. We have some coals, so we've got enough for our factories. We don't have any happiness problems, so we could essentially keep on spamming settlers from our cities, but that'll really cause problems for growth. And that since this is the atomic era, they all will instantly start with uh, granary, so I can transfer food around. Well, I want one worker per city, so we'll build a worker there. You can build a water mill for a bit of extra food and production. You can build a bank. Oh, you can also build an observatory because we've got Mount Kalish. Gives us some happiness. With faith and happiness, that natural one is actually useless to us. But it does give us a space for an observatory. I are the destroy, you keep on exploring. New workers. Once they're finished with the mine, I'll have them build the oil well there. And then work the coal. I want you to head down to Mars. Not a plethora of spaces here to work, but we want to improve what we can. Now you... I want to... Ooh... You'll just stock exchange. I want to make sure we try to avoid going into gold deficits too early on. Oh, oh, wait. Garrus, don't settle near my bleeding cities, please. Plus one food and plus one gold. Well, we could, well, we can always do with the gold. Garrus, don't settle near my cities. One problem with this is that I, you, know, you can't interact with them because you're permanently at war. But it, you also can't interact with your teammates, which means we can't trade resources, which is a problem. 
He's probably going to want to settle down here and nab all this oil. And then I can't use it. Stay away, Gareth. This is my island. You've got your own island. We had no use for that anyway. Now, there's one thing that we want to do, and that's to start building up our navy. But we don't want to do it too early on to avoid gold deficits. Hmm. I also want to build up armories and the planetary combative opera <laughs> thingies. The, you know, the Alliance unique military building with extra experience that also allows you to build N7s. Don't... Oh. Well, I'm claiming this stack of oil. You got that? Mars? This is a management spell. Yoink! My oil. You can have that oil, but this is my oil. You know what, stop. That was quick, I think. Okay, now we need produ production and lunar, so you can get a mine. Oh, the Reapers have landed on Turian territory. And the Turians foolishly attacked them from the sea. Hello, hello, hello. Wait, are those mine? No, they weren't. There's the Reaper capital. It's very close to us. And it's a coastal city. Oh, look at that. Those are those giant death robots are actually Reaper capital ships. If you want to know the Reaper bonuses, in case you didn't know them. Oi! In case you didn't know them already. In normal games, the Reapers can... Those are my infantry! Sorry if that was a bit too loud. Get out of there. Get it. Like The Reapers, they can, in normal games, they can only be defeated through complete destruction. I'm assuming that means all their units and everything. They indoct they're capable of indoctrination. I'm assuming that means that the units they defeat join their side at half health, similar to the privateers and their ability to capture ships. And in the ancient era, in a normal game, and they have access to nukes now. Oh, they have ranged ability? Ouch. Oh no, are those mine? This is on a slightly harder difficulty than I normally play at, so... Gotcha! Is it pretty much zero health, though? So the AI gets slight production bonuses. Hmm... I want to start, you know, trading food between my cities to help them grow. Because I don't need to be concerned about, you know, Oh, come on. Well, at least they're not s settling in the middle. This is going to be my territory. I'm going to tr Since we don't have happiness problems, I want to trade food between my cities to help them grow as much as they can. You now I'm going to start doing that now. Cargo ships, because they're more profitable. You can't trade with your allies for gold. You can only offer them food and production similar to your own cities. So the Reapers, even in the ancient era, instead of starting with a warrior, they start with a capital ship. So they eventually gain. There's the first cycle. They eventually, they essentially gain an information era unit in the ancient era. Reaper capital ships can only be, be built in, in dark space. They're ripping up my spot, and there's Cerberus over there. I want to try and follow the story of the game somewhat and take out and eliminate Cerberus before... How much health do you have? One. One health. Get to friendly territory and get yourself patched up. Decisive victory? Oh, I can't. 
I'm not going to give them any more experience for killing that. Yeah. We've got quite a bit of a profitable gold now, so I might as well start building up some some form of a navy. Try and you know, hold back the Reaper advances. But anyway, I've reached the 20 minute mark now. I apologise if this was a rather slow start because I had to explain a lot of things. Give her the food. But I sincerely hope you enjoy the first episode of what I hope will be a very epic series. I've been looking forward to this so much and I am so excited that this, that this has finally begun. So I'll see you all in the next episode, hopefully. Farewell. Yeah,